Welcome to Metal Chick. This week we're taking a look at punk rock style. Punk rock is a movement that's near and dear to both Adam and my hearts. Right. Today we're going to look at a piercing studio. Oh yeah, okay. Wait, don't. Okay. Wait, hold on. Now I feel like I'm going to pass out. We're also going to take a look at some of Victoria's really cool punk rock jewelry. People used to tell me they were scared of me in high school. Oh god, people were terrified of me. Isn't that ridiculous? Yeah. Look at us. I know. Who well, would be afraid of I us? Do? I decided to make this whole line of jewelry that was really based on, on like punk rock style. And these are really literal interpretations of the right. spike collars and stuff you see on St. Mark's. Right, exactly. Except I made them in sterling silver and with these bullet shapes that are made out of hematite, which is a stone that has like a really metal look to it. It's a little more upscale. It's a little more ups, upmarket right, version exactly. of the spike choker. They're almost on some level like unwearable, like right. you almost really can't wear them. Yeah, they're like artwork. It's exactly, it feels like more like an installation to me. And this is probably, this one's probably my favorite ring of all time. It's the speed loader ring. I fashioned it after a piece of machinery that you use to load a gun. So it kind of definitely has a bullet look. And you know, I consider this to be a punk rock piece because it kind of reflects a lot of the punk rock aesthetics of taking other objects and then using them in creative ways. You know, thinking about the way that uh, people used to put safety pins through their cheeks or use like piping to make bracelets. And so this is a sort of like my takeoff on it. I call it the come closer get away ring because people are like, oh, look at that, oh. <laughs> Howdy, I'm Maria Tash, and I own Venus by Maria Tash and Venus Modern Body Arts. We apply fine jewelry to all parts of the body. So the, the piercings that most people are familiar with are earlobe, maybe upper ear, nostril, navel, of course. We have a lot of fun doing what we're doing. We also keep on top of the newest trends in piercing and styles. We also have a large celebrity clientele. People don't like Brittany. I have no problem with her. God bless Brittany. She'll go on. She's wearing one of my pieces there. She's bought a lot of pieces over the years. She came in in between child one and child two and got her navel reinserted. And believe me, that was the best PR I ever had in my life. Mickey Rourke, I pierced his eyebrow. That was fun, I went to his house and he was very cool. It was, very, it was a very mafia-esque experience though. He was sitting in the corner, dark. It was like a Batman scene or something. I went in there, I just wanna get it over here. You know, that kind of a thing. Joan Jett, we love Joan Jett. An old time Venus Modern Body Arts client. She has a lot of like uh, multiple earlobe piercings and she's stretched out a few of them and we've provided jewelry for that. She's very cool. She definitely get pierced. I mean, all of us have been pierced and keep certain piercings in or have abandoned other ones. And I mean, it's, it's fun, it's beautiful, it's traditional and you know, it really becomes part of your style. We're gonna do a nostril piercing on Charisse. Decision storm up ahead. You better make up your mind. I, I, I should head forward to, to, to Bridesmaid Bay. Yes. <laughs> well, what about Cake Flavor Port? Oh, I don't, That's I don't, closer, isn't it? I don't think we're ready for Cake Flavor Port yet. Oh, don't you think we should go to Cake Flavor Port? We're gonna have to go back to Seating Arrangement Island. I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> Hold it together, man. I was definitely into body piercing and tattoos, body ornamentation. The only thing I really have left today is my ears, but they're still there. People always say this piercing hurts. It hurts, okay? It hurts. Trees. Oh my god, now I want to die. First we clean. This is a Q-tip. I know. It doesn't hurt. I'm going to clean the inside. Glamorous. It's very glamorous. I'm just going to draw a dot in the spot. I think it might look nice, and then okay. you can tell me what you think. I trust yeah, your right. opinion. Okay, this scary device is just a ruler. I just want to see how thick your nostril is. I'm going to bend the nostrils through to fit you. Oh my god. god. What? I'm not doing anything yeah, yet. Just looking at your tools. <laughs> Everything will be fine, boo-boo. This is the clamp that holds your little nostril taut. Okay. It's easy. Oh, oh my god, okay. Wait, Relax. don't. Okay. Wait, hold on. Now I feel like I'm going to pass out. No, no, you're not going anywhere. Everything's fine. How long does it take? A second. It's bad though, right? No, it's not. It's like getting your ears pierced. Oh my god. No, it's already okay. the clamp. It could have been just done already. Do it. Just Thank do you, it. baby. And that's it. No more pain. Ugh. I'm just weaving it in your nostril. Ugh. All in. It's all good. You that did was nothing. Spectacular. Yeah, that was nobody nothing. believes me. I can't believe it didn't hurt. Well, you know, you were very nervous, and it's not as bad as what you think. You should be proud of yourself. I want to switch to the diamond later. 
We like to see your punk rock stuff no matter how wild it is. Ooh. Next week we're taking you from this to this. Thank you.